Boom! What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to talk about Jade and Sheba. I don't know the rest of their last names, but let's get into it. Um, so Jaden had his a father, and his father was the original Red Samurai Ranger. He was a Red Samurai Ranger. Um, but during the last confrontation against Master Zandrid, Jaden's father's team was getting overwhelmed, and they couldn't keep up. And when Master Zandrid attacked, it was a surprise. Jaden's father then used a little bit of the Shi of Fire symbol. Basically, it's this, it's this symbol that's passed down from generation to generation of the Sheba family, which Jaden lived by, lived in. And, um, and Jaden, um, was apparently the only one who could use it. So his father used the symbol, but it wasn't enough, and it was only able to banish Master Zandrid, but he would wake up, wake up again. This is when... Jaden's father had a plan. You see, Jaden Jaden's father decided to make his son train with um with math with with um G, their sensei, while his daughter, well Jaden's sister, would go away and practice the ceiling symbol so Jaden would be the one to protect um the, the planet while her, while his sister would practice the symbol alone away from Xandrid. This would meant to be a surprise attack on Zanridge just in case he ever got free. Then when Master Zandrid did get free, Jaden became the Red Samurai Ranger just like his father. But when Master Zandrid found out that Jaden wa was um Jaden was a Sheba and knew about the symbol, he went to the Rangers decided to protect Jaden, but that wasn't what ha well, that that's what not that's not what Jaden wanted. But any, but when Lauren showed up, that's when Jaden realized, okay, it's time to get serious now. Lauren has to lead the team. Well, I dip. So Jaden leaves and puts Lauren in his in his place. But the Rangers eventually are like, you know what? Just because you don't got the ceiling symbol, don't mean that we don't want you as our leader. So they follow Jaden around. You know they keep trying to get him back to join and stuff. And they have a good heart to heart moment with Jaden about how he had to lie to them. But it was the only way to make sure they had a surprise chant and a surprise attack on Master Zandrid. Luckily, in the final battle, um, Lauren was able to use the ceiling symbol, but it wasn't enough. But when Jaden came back, she decided to put one ounce of her ceiling power left into a disc, which in turn would be able to help the Rangers defeat Master Xandrid. And it worked, and Jaden took up the role of Red Ranger again. Now, after the Rangers defeated Xandrid, Lauren left, and Jaden decided to stay at the Sheba house. I'm, and at least he didn't die like his father. But that's his origin, basically. This one was very in-depth. Um, I like the plot of it. Um... But I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. Um, yeah, that's his origin. Basically, Jaden was a plan B just in case Vandred came back alive. But the Rangers loved Jaden so much that they wanted him back as their leader. And I can get that. I can see that. Um, but that's his origin, basically. I hope you guys enjoyed. 